Hi, what's going on YouTube? It's been a little bit since we've done an update on Big Bear Lake. So we're up here at the lake checking it out, uh, basically just for this video to show you the lake conditions and the status of this lake. I've uh, been fishing it quite a bit since uh, the weather cooled down and even through the summer. Do all those updates over on Patreon in case you're wondering where those reports go. That's where they're at. But we're here to talk about the lake conditions and uh, we're going to walk around over here and uh, show you what is going on here at Big Bear and what's likely to happen through this coming winter. It's going to be interesting. So uh, let's talk about it. So first up, we're going to talk about the, the water levels up here. A lot of people in the valley are curious, what does it really look like up here along the shoreline? I mean, is the lake just dried up out here or what's happening? And as you can see, there is quite a bit of water out here. However, um, this is the shoreline. So to give you perspective, um, this area right here where you see that little strip of growth right there, that's where the water level was last year. So it's dropped from there to here and uh, it's gonna continue to drop. That's the unfortunate side of it. Um, there is some storm uh, action predicted in the coming weeks, but I doubt that'll be enough to do anything for the lake level. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. They are predicting another La Nina year, which means it's just not gonna rain. No rain, no snow, no water. So um, as you can just see though, um, it is really, really dry up here on the shoreline. It's just, uh, just lost a lot of water. People are building cairns up here and that's just what it's come to. To give you perspective of where the water level used to be, uh, what did it? What would it look like here if it was full pool? Um, I'm gonna walk up here and show you what that looks like. We're walking up a trail right now, but it's pretty crazy to think about how far up the water used to be. So we're walking up, and uh, we're gonna show you right here. So right about here, where this tree is is where the water should be to be full here at Big Bear. And as you can see, we'll head back down and give you perspective of just how far down that water has gone. And it's significant. I mean, I want to say it's been a while since I've seen it up that high, maybe 2014, maybe a little earlier than that. But you can see now the water level coming into view and uh, that's just how far <laughs> so all the way from that tree all the way down there is the water level unfortunately the water depth isn't the only thing that's deteriorating out here um, unfortunately the cleanliness of the lake is taking a nosedive as you can see um, this is the municipal water district's responsibility and uh, they are just not doing anything about it and uh, unfortunately this is what we got you know i mean i don't know why people don't take some of this stuff just take it home with you you know don't don't bring your trash up here and uh, expect somebody to haul it away for you that's really just sad I mean, granted, all this could be spread across this whole shoreline, but um, believe me when I tell you, if we walk down that way, there's plenty of trash. There's trash everywhere out here. So unfortunately, there has been a massive degradation of the lake here. The quality of the lake as a whole, not just the water levels, but the trash along the shore and all kinds of just stupid stuff that people do they come up here and think it's like disneyland and somebody's going to clean it up at the end of the day but unfortunately they don't so more on this later though we're going to talk about this and uh and uh, you guys are going to be happy with what i'm going to post up we're going to talk about that so let's go check out that water and see what that looks like you can see there's a pretty good algae bloom that is dying off here in the water 
and uh, it's not going to not going to go away too fast. It's going to take a little time, but this happens just about every year up here. You you get this really nasty growth in the water, and uh, there's some really bad floating stuff there. But the algae versus the uh, weed growth is uh, a whole nother topic. There is a patch of weed out here that um, you get stuck on when you're fishing out here. So you kind of got to watch for that as well. But it's turned the lake pretty green. And what's happening with the temperatures dropping, it was uh, 26 degrees out here this morning. And uh, all that algae is just dying and floating in the water and dissipating. So in about two weeks, so probably sometime in middle November, a lot of that will be gone. It won't be a problem out here. Water should be really clear, looking good. So what water is here is gonna look real nice here pretty soon. Right now it's looking a little nasty here in late October, but that's just the way it is um, every year. It looks like that. One of the unfortunate things about the water level dropping is you get weed growth that takes over where the water once was. And that's what you see here. So unfortunately, if the water level ever comes back up, this whole shoreline will be unfishable. I mean, by boat, it'll be an incredible bass fishery right here. But from shore, you will not have access for quite some time. It'll take some time for that to die off and basically be out of your way. So that in, in a, of itself is a, a problem. But as you can see, it's taken over a lot of the shoreline here. Um, maybe five years ago, there wasn't one plant right here. It was dirt from here all the way to high water level. So it's growing in. Um, the good news about it is it does create a habitat, you know, for birds and such to uh, nest in there. And there are no shortage of birds up here at the lake. So last but not least, what is going on with the fishing up here? Is it any good? Well, it is. It's still pretty good. Um, the lake is in a transitional period right now because the temperatures have changed. And this lake undergoes a massive migration of fish from the west side to the east side of the lake every year. Um, some of those fish decide to stay over there on the west side and can be pretty good. But right now, uh, the fishing is spread across the entire lake so you can almost fish just about any shore right now and get into them but that's what i'm doing up here now is i will fish five or six spots on this whole lake and report back over on patreon for a weekly report so people that head over there definitely have an advantage and not having to drive all the way up here to find out what's good or what's bad i just tell them uh, what's going on over there so they can head straight to the good spots. But fishing is good. Um, there's some big fish showing up in the last few weeks. I haven't caught any of the bigger ones, um, but we're still doing okay out here. And uh, fishing is not by any means slow. I would say you gotta work right now. And uh, maybe in about a week or two, it'll really pick up in some of the better areas. But right now, spread out, fish are on the move. And uh, it's still good, guys. Still lots of fish here at Big Bear. No shortage of fish. It's not like the lake is out of fish. We're running out of water, but it is not out of fish. So that's good news. All right, that's gonna wrap up the update for Big Bear Lake. If you appreciate this information, hit that subscribe button down in the description below. If you want some more fishing report information, also in the link below, you can find my Patreon where we do weekly fishing reports and talk about all this stuff in detail every week. And uh, it's gonna be a good day out here. We're gonna fish a few more spots and see what's going on. All right, I'm out from Big Bear Lake. Thanks for watching.